Adding to the atmosphere of peace and reconciliation between the two Koreas is a film festival that has opened near the DMZ. According to Oh Soo Young, the annual event is paying extra attention on the reclusive state and its people this year. South Korea is the most common destination for most North Korean defectors who escaped the hermit kingdom in search of a freer and better life. But a North Korean woman living in the Netherlands decided to leave the South four years ago, burnt out from the pressure to adjust to the capitalist system. I thought South Korea would be our last stop. We couldn't bear our lives in the North and fled. In the South, we were free. But I realized freedom is not everything. She's one of the defectors introduced by Seoul-based filmmaker Steve Choi at the DMZ International Documentary Film Festival this year. More than 140 films from some 39 countries are being showcased at the eight-day festival, held less than an hour away from the border between the two Koreas. Amid the ongoing rapprochement on the Korean peninsula, there's particular interest on films that show the lives of North Koreans. I came hoping to indirectly experience the reality of North Korea and defectors through film. Through his 85-minute piece, Choi sheds light on the reasons why so many defectors decide to leave South Korea, an estimated 2,000 out of the more than 30,000 defectors registered here. The filmmaker says most fail to adjust to the fast-paced life in the South, the pressure to get a good education, find a high-paying job and move up the social ladder. The so-called glass wall of discrimination and distrust toward the defectors also hinders them from advancing. This one defector kid who I filmed was teased for having North Korean parents. Even though the kid was born in South Korea, a lot of South Koreans told me that they were not aware of it. They didn't know those problems exist. And I guess it was like that to me as well. It's just, uh, you know, how indifferent we are about, about them, their lives. Troy hopes this documentary will help change that perception, saying defectors must be seen not as helpless victims, lawbreakers or social misfits, but as ordinary people trying to find their place in the world, much like the rest of us. Oh Young, Arirang News.